Hello guys, Teacher Zaida here. Okay, today uh, since SPM is very is around the corner, so I'm giving you some tips and techniques uh, of English writing for SPM. Okay, this is uh, my just regard this as my uh, you know <laughs> masedeka uh, for all of you because normally I give this for my talk. Because like like uh, okay very recent, uh, I was invited to sekolah menengah uh, selising pasir putih and also sekolah menengah uh, tengku indah petra in Guam Musang and and few other schools, so I uh, share this with all of them. So today I just want to highlight on a few things. Okay, um, for directed writing, you know that you have uh, all these uh, formats, report writing, formal letter, informal letter, speech, or talk, uh, and also article. Tip number one, don't predict or don't spot on any uh, formats. Okay, study all formats because if you do not study all formats, you might or you tend to... Uh, what we call to miss the mark for the format okay three marks for the for the for given for the format so make sure you know all the formats for uh, directed writing okay don't skip don't don't uh, don't predict or don't spot okay and as for marking uh, marking you are given uh, format three marks content 12 marks and language 20 marks uh, I know 20 marks for language is, is, is pretty hard for those who are below average or average students. In fact, a good student also is very hard to get 20 marks. So, what you have to do here is make sure you score full marks for format and also for content. It's not hard. Okay, make sure you target to get full marks here. Okay, why I say it's very easy peasy. Okay, because of in order to get three marks for format, you need to memorize only. Okay, if possible, you number. You put the number. Let's say for formal letter, how many uh, okay, numbers for the format. Okay, for example, you have to write the, uh, the, 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 the address, the sender's uh, address name. Okay, uh, the signature. So you have to put into numbers. Then it's very easier. For, it's very easy for you to remember or to memorize. Okay, make sure you memorize the format of all types. Okay, because it's very easy here to get three marks. Make sure you could get three marks here. Okay, and uh, good news for you, uh, if you have any wrong spelling, there's no mark deduction. Okay, no mark deduction. Okay, so we want to, how to get 12 marks for content? It's also very easy. Why? Because normally, the content points are already given in the question. So, make sure you use all the points. If you use all the points, then straight away you could get 12 marks uh, where you just need to elaborate a bit on each point given. Okay, and um, if you are asked to include your own points, so make sure you include your own points. Okay, so for me, it's not hard to get 12 marks. So, um, see, so 12 plus 3, so you have got 15 marks in hands. Just, uh, you know, uh, you have to try hard for your language. Make sure you could get uh, uh, around 10 to 12 for language. Okay, and another thing... I want to share with you here is mm, okay so this one is for example this is for informal letter okay this is for informal letter see this is the format uh, in order to get three marks so this is these are the the things that you have to 
have in your letter the sender's address and name on top right um, number two you must have date number three you must have the salutation or the greeting so dear hi hello okay make it very informal and um, you must have the the closing greeting like your sincerely your brother okay as i said if let's like, say you spell wrongly you do not put yours but you put your it's okay no mark deduction okay make sure you put it make sure you write the the closing greeting and also the last one is the sig signature so just remember just memorize there are five uh, things there are five important uh, formats for informal letter okay and another thing we we'll would we'll like to add up here whenever you write the informal letter so make sure you write in informal language you write in informal language for example where is it you oh, you can write in contraction for example oh, this one is no i do not put in in contraction but you can you can use contraction you know con contraction is a short form instead of using i am you just put i first to v m that one is what we call um is permissible you can do that especially in informal but for formal letter you you have to write in full like this okay but don't use texting uh, language like the one that you write in your message or in your whatsapp in your wechat that one no that one is not allowed okay but you can use a contraction because you want to because uh, you want to sound more more informal got it okay so um i hope this sharing uh is mostly benefited for all of you so wish you best of luck for your um, spm english paper okay uh, that's all assalamualaikum thank you very much